infrastructure is what supports our daily life, from roads and harbours to railways and airports, hospitals, sports stadiums, schools, even access to drinking water and shelter from the weather. Today, our civilization relies more than ever on teams of innovative people to design, build and maintain the sophisticated infrastructure that surrounds us. These people are civil engineers, and these are just a few of the amazing ways civil engineering meets the challenges of creating and maintaining our infrastructure for us and for future generations. We can't live without water, but over one billion people around the world have no access to clean drinking water. Every year, millions die because of poor sanitation and drought. Around the world, civil engineers are providing both new water sources and improving existing supplies. In Ethiopia, civil engineers have created the Hitoza Gravity Water Scheme, which is part of Ethiopia's largest water supply project. This initiative is designed to provide 60,000 people with low-cost, clean, safe drinking water. It costs only £440 to build one public water point that can serve 500 people. It is just one of many schemes that civil engineers are constructing across the developing world helping to save lives and build sustainable communities. Extreme heat, cold, floods, strong winds, industrial contamination, subsidence and earthquakes can all threaten where we live. Every day we rely on civil engineers to use their skills to ensure that our habitats continue to be safe and secure. By understanding how rivers flow and flood, civil engineers have been instrumental in developing tidal defences such as the Thames Barrier. Completed in 1982, the barrier protects the people of London from increased rainfall, dangerous surge tides and a general rise in sea levels. It has been predicted that without the barrier, a severe flood in London could lead to financial losses of £30,000 million, quite apart from the cost in human suffering and potential loss of life. The barrier is vital to the continued protection of the people and the city of London. Civil engineers are constantly developing new building techniques using materials in entirely new ways to create practical solutions to complex problems. Scotland's Falkirk wheel is the world's first and only rotating boat lift and was designed to reconnect the Union Canal with the Forth and Clyde Canal. Instead of using traditional locks, civil engineers adopted a new approach that sees the wheel lift boats over 35 metres in just four minutes. The result is both awe-inspiring and beautiful. As the world becomes increasingly developed, civil engineers are helping create new ways to get around and are constantly improving the methods of travelling safely. In the northeast of England, the Gateshead Millennium Bridge is the world's first and only tilting bridge. Driven by eight electric motors, the bridge takes only four minutes to open and at a cost of just £3.60. It provides access for pedestrians to the new cultural developments on the south of the River Tyne, whilst attracting visitors from around the world with its grace and engineering beauty. Thank you. 
Ambitious construction projects can only be completed by teams of people with different skills working together. New working methods and project management techniques make sure that everyone contributes in the right way at the right time for the benefit of the project, reducing risks and ensuring safety. When Hong Kong needed a new airport, they had no available land to build it on. With the help of civil engineers, one of the world's largest airports was constructed on a man-made island in the South China Sea. The project took eight years from the start of planning until the airport opened in 1998. The design and construction teams included nearly 21,000 people and over 20 nationalities. Civil engineers are committed to protecting our natural resources, designing structures that use as little energy as possible. The Beddington Zero Energy Development, or BEDZ, is a sustainable, attractive and affordable housing community in South East England. Civil engineers have created new approaches to energy saving and environmental sustainability creating the UK's largest carbon neutral eco-community, the first of its kind in the UK. BEDZ is built primarily from natural, recycled or reclaimed materials. A green transport plan promotes walking, cycling and use of public transport, helping to reduce reliance on cars. Today, many of the important developments made during the design and construction of BEDZ are being adopted in numerous new housing schemes. Large and small construction projects can often create risky conditions for the people working on them. Some projects have particular hazards, such as working at great height or depth, or working with dangerous substances. By learning from the past and by using computer models to predict project outcomes, civil engineers continue to improve the safety of the most challenging working environments. Drilling for oil and gas at sea is extremely expensive and can be very dangerous. Civil engineers are working with mechanical engineers to develop the subsea manifold, a new and effective technology for extracting oil and gas from beneath the seabed without the need for costly platforms, drilling rigs or people on site. Not only does this system protect lives, but it also means that fossil fuels can be pumped from even more remote wells. Around the world, civil engineers are helping save structures and monuments from the distant past so that they can still be enjoyed well into the future. One such structure is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. The tower has been leaning since its construction in 1173. In 1990, it was on the verge of complete collapse. By carefully removing soil from the foundations, civil engineers were able to support the structure from within, gently reducing the tower's lean by about half a metre. Using these very latest technologies, civil engineering played a vital role in saving this Italian landmark for future generations to visit and admire. Our world is forever changing and the pressures on our environment and resources are constantly increasing. Throughout history, it is civil engineering that has shaped and improved our lives and our environment. Today, it is civil engineers who not only preserve our past, but are also instrumental in the future success of civilization itself.